doesn't it seem like that artificial intelligence is now everywhere? I mean, I understand there were cinemas in Hollywood exploring the opportunity of sentient artificial intelligence. But more interesting, you see, everyday life we have been using more and more artificial intelligence. So what changed? Why is it so different now? Let's explore. Hi, this is Junaid, Neurocritical Care Stroke and Epilepsy Specialist. Today we're going to talk about what has really changed. Why is there significant technological advancement that led to artificial intelligence being available to us on a regular basis? This has important application, not for general purpose life, you know, self-driving cars, you know, simply doing this camera as far as when you're using iPhone, how it processes your images make to make it better. But more importantly, it has going to have profound implications how you provide and receive medical care in the future. So let's understand the underlying technology and what changes have been made that has brought us to this point in time where artificial intelligence is becoming more and more streamlined, more and more everyday usable. There are six C's that we're going to talk about today. Number one is content, which basically means data and sensors. Number two is computation, how that has changed, connectivity, cost, code and convergence. We're going to have a lot of things that we're going to talk about through the series, but first and foremost, I want to talk about convergence. Now, convergence is extremely important. What we're looking at right now is a, is a convergence of multiple different overlapping technologies. It's just not one technology that we're talking about. Let me show you this chart. This is from ARK Invest. This is probably the most important thing that we have noted. What we're looking at is basically that there is significantly different technologies, but they're built on overlaying on each other. And artificial intelligence becomes at the heart of them. And that is why it is so amazing as more and more information is gathered into one system, as more and more algorithms are getting back gathered in the system, as more and more different types of applications are gathered into one system, it is does not make one system. It makes that system even so much better. As you have heard, the whole is better than the sum of its parts. So exactly where convergence comes in. Because these different converging technologies literally makes the whole system much better and at the heart of it is artificial intelligence what are the six big technologies that we are talking about is of course the artificial intelligence itself uh, and we're going to talk more about it as we talked about in the last lecture that how the current change makers the ceos of microsoft google etc think of artificial intelligence but we're going to see more and more technologies being enabled by them because blockchain is going to be more easily available i'm not talking about cryptocurrency i'm talking about the underlying block technology because that is very amazing this can tokenize i mean literally we can see that how we're getting paid is going to be changed because we can tokenize everything we do at a very granular level we're going to see genomic sequencing fall in more prices robotics is going to change the way things work energy storage is going to also be much more cheaper moving forward and these technologies again there's no such thing as energy storage until artificial intelligence runs in the behind and basically optimizes everything so that your storage becomes absolutely perfect there is no such thing as you know the storage is because even let's say you're talking about energy production the solar panels need to be moved according to the sun movement and that movement can be controlled by artificial intelligence that just decreases the cost. Think about it, if there's one human being going and changing all the solar panels on a solar farm, that's not possible. So the true cost advantages, the true amazingness of this whole system comes in because of the basic layer of artificial intelligence. In the next lectures, we're gonna talk more about how these things are changed. So number one thing is basically content. By content, I mean is data. There is significant amount of data that we're going to see coming up. We used to have big data. I mean, in healthcare, there has been an explosion of data for years. It's nothing new. What we are seeing now is an explosion of data. And we're going to give you some numbers when, you, when we come to that lecture itself. The storage, the cost of storage was huge. HDD drives, we used to use tape. Now even solid state drives and more importantly, memory chip based drives, which we call NVMe, are also getting cheaper and cheaper where the data originates from. It used to be a few million devices, right? I mean, we are more and more MRI machines, CAT scans are being sold and used. Of course, we are now 8 billion human beings on this planet. 
So we're going to see more and more data generated for each human being that is on this planet itself and let alone each of us, the way that we create data into a significantly higher amount. Um, the benefit of all this is that we're seeing that the data being generated because of the protocols in place are more secure as well. And then lastly, we used to have storage that was truly centralized or privatized and now we are actually actually looking at distributed storages as well so my personal photos can be in my drive i can also share one cloud server i can put it in a regional cloud server etc etc so personal choice is improving but more importantly at an enterprise level we are seeing what we call distributed storage device so edge device has a different storage regional services have a different storage and we are seeing more importantly cloud servers being available more and more of course the big three are there gcp google cloud azure from microsoft and AWS Cloud, where we are seeing Oracle coming into the mix as well, providing sometimes even cheaper services. The second thing we're going to talk about is computation. It is not just about creating the CPUs because we have hit a Moore's law, but we're going to talk about how computation is still improving. And that has to do with memory bandwidth, that has to be do with the chip design. And interestingly, we're going to talk about how AI itself is designing new chips much faster. Same thing, processors are actually becoming more and more system on a chip for the format. This basically takes away the actual breadth of the work that is done on the main processor, HEV encoding, um, you know, sometimes basically doing neural engine tasks. So all of these tasks are now distributed in a system on a chip format. So therefore, even though that we have reached a ceiling, which is the Moore's law, we're still seeing significant advantages in CPU and GPU, and more importantly, Gatrons, which is the AWS, uh, you know, AI engine, and Tensor uh, TPU, Tensor Processing Unit, which is the Google. All of this is becoming part and parcel of our new chip economy. Connectivity is also increasing. I mean, we have gone from 4G to 5G. Of course, 5G transition is going to take a decade, but we are seeing that transition happening, and of course, speeds improving. We're seeing Wi-Fi currently moving from Wi-Fi 5 is still mainly used by. We're going to see that you're going into Wi-Fi 6E. And then, of course, all of this, even though we're increasing costs and everything, we are seeing the cost either stable or sometimes even falling simultaneously. So we, we are being, getting more and more storage, more and more bandwidth, more and more compute power. But we are actually looking at, uh, you know, a cost stability across, you know, even such huge efficiency gains. And then one of the amazing things that we're going to talk about is how we are writing software code itself. Because things have literally changed in software coding. Where humans used to, used to code independently, now we are looking at co-pilots, co-coders, when AI is built coding software with humans. Again, thank you so much. See you in the next video.